hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're not welcome back okay today's video we have another highly requested video and that is a 50 fairy core crochet ideas now I am a fairy core girly all the way, okay? I actually am wearing this specific knitted cardigan that I thrifted because it has little plants on it and it's just giving me fairy vibes, okay? Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been slowly collecting knitted and crocheted tops and things from the thrift to try and kind of incorporate it more into like my wardrobe i guess even if i'm not hand making them myself i'm trying to save i'm trying to save other people's work and give it some more life okay so this one is super cute i i love it so much this is the first time i'm ever wearing it so it's like i'm all excited about it but anyways let's go ahead and get into this video so we've got three categories for you today we've got clothing accessories and miscellaneous okay before we jump into the first category i just want to remind everyone everything i say will be listed in the description box below linked to a free or paid written or video tutorial so that you can make whatever i'm showing you okay so our first category we're jumping into is the clothing category all right so for the clothing category we have this fairy dress which I actually bought this pattern and I'm planning on doing a pattern review for so if you don't want to miss that definitely subscribe so you don't miss that pattern review okay but uh, you can also make this mushroom sleeved top or this um, pink kind of whimsical fairy like top like cardigan top I guess it's like a cropped cardigan or you can make this flower a garden um, hooded kind of vest very cute also kind of cute if you're in like a ren fair or if you want to do some photo shoots fairy themed or like garden themed it's super cute you can also make this hibiscus crochet top which this one was actually the first one where i was like okay it is time for a fairy video so <laughs> i really like this top or you can make a flower top i love the idea of like a fairy using these really tiny things in our eyes as like clothing okay very tinkerbell very cute so i definitely like that one or even this butterfly top with or without the sleeves super cute you can make this lotus vest which i know has made an appearance in the Ren Fair video, but it is reappearing here because it fits the theme, okay? Um, you can also make a long maxi skirt like this brown one or even more of like a pineapple lace one like this one. Similar to that cropped cardigan I showed you earlier, there's this more like peachy colored one that has kind of layers to it. It's super cute, super whimsical. You can also make this maxi skirt it's another type of maxi skirt pattern or you can make this yellow aubrey top which is super cute or even this like purpley bell sleeved fairy type top you can also make this valentina skirt another kind of long skirt i'm just picturing like fairies in a forest okay and i picture long skirts okay so you can make this you can also make it however short you want it if you do want it shorter you can use this 70s vintage moth pattern to make like a moth shawl that's really cute you can also make this fairy queen cropped like hooded cardigan moment if this butterfly wing shawl is more your speed you can make this butterfly wing shawl you can also make this bralette that kind of gives mushroom vibes or even this bloom top, which is super cute, or this floral crochet top, like this green one with a bunch of little flower moments. It's super cute, super detailed. You can also use this L skirt pattern. I'm trying to give you some skirt options, okay? I got some feedback on previous videos that I always give like one skirt and that's it. So here's some more maxi skirt options for you. That's all I got for you for clothing. So let's go ahead and move into the accessories category. I actually love this category of this video. We have these really cool ear cuffs, like butterfly ear cuffs okay um you can also make this rose witch hat which is super cute or this flower like hat which just gives me fairy vibes okay you can also make this very cute simple like chained whimsical looking headband 
or even some flowery vines to add into your hair whether it's like this or even like braided into your hair super cute i'm excited because my hair is getting longer okay if you watch my older videos it used to be really short and i'm trying to grow it out because i'm trying to live like a whimsical long-haired life okay and it's taking forever but i feel like today i'm noticing my hair is getting longer if it's not getting longer be delusional with me okay don't crush my dreams in the comments so speaking of hair accessories we have this really cute mushroom balaclava hood um you can also make this flower hood similar to the other one i showed you earlier but different okay you can also make these fishnet like legging stockings with these hand glove things to go with them it gives me like water fairy vibes okay um you can also make any type of flower earring or like leaf earring for example like these sunflower earrings but really any kind of like leaf or flower would go cute you can also make these like florally scaly foot i don't know what they're called they're not really like socks they're like not really leggings leg warmers either they're just kind of like on your foot and your hands but you can make these or you can make this kind of kelp necklace which also kind of looks like moss or like um moss yeah moss is the word i'm looking for right moss or like vines you know like you're one with the forest or the garden okay you can also make this headband with the fairy core ears okay uh, this one's a video tutorial that i found or you can also make these more detailed footwear kind of calf cover things okay super cute you can also make this flower hat super adorable and then we've got some more ear cuff options for you if ear cuffs are your thing or you can even make this willow bud hat crochet hat okay super cute many accessory options for you and that's all for accessories so let's move into our final category which is miscellaneous okay so for miscellaneous i've got you this snail bag okay come on tell me that's not cute that is adorable you can also make some crochet mushroom keychains like these ones are kind of like more spooky looking than the average ones that you guys see or you can make a luna moth either to hang on your wall or add to the back of a sweater or something like that um you can make these fairy lights by crocheting flowers around led string lights i've seen th that everywhere okay so that's really cute you can also make these butt shrooms okay I thought those were really cute or you can make some pixies those very give off garden forest fairy core vibe okay make some pixies and put them on the shelves in your room or you know next to books on your room stacks of books in between where your yarn is kept super cute adds a little like whimsical flair you can also make these elemental bags a bunch of different options for you or you can make this flower blanket which i thought was so cute and it just gives a fairy like a bed of flowers a fairy picnic okay super cute and then you can also make this mushroom like um in the, it's like a mushroom storage container thing but in this picture it has some yarn and a hook in it so i thought that was really cute if you're gonna go like camping or into the woods to do some crocheting it'd be cute to store it in like a little mushroom storage bag okay you can also make this fairy crochet wall tapestry for your room super cute if i didn't hate tapestry crocheting i would make that but uh tapestry crocheting is not for the week and i am the week so i will not be making it but if you guys do let me know okay because that's super cute you could also make this poodle moth to put on your wall or put on your bed or use in a photo shoot or something like that for your fairy core dreams okay and that is all i got for you for your 50 fairy core crochet ideas i hope that you guys were able to find at least one or two things in this video to make like i said in the beginning everything i said is listed in the description box in the order that i said it linked to a free or paid written or video tutorial so you can make whatever i showed you if you're looking for the specific photo that i used they are all on a cohesive pinterest board which is also linked in the description box below if there's a video that you want me to make that i haven't made yet please comment it down below and i will add it to the never-ending list that i am tirelessly working through um also i just want to say thank you for 100k subscribers um this video 
is coming out a little late, but I just want to say thank you. And I am working on the subscriber blanket currently. It is taking a lot longer than I thought it would take <laughs> to get done, but that video is definitely coming out. I wanted it to come out in like as a 100k celebratory video, but it is just taking so long to put all of the squares together that it's going to be a little late okay but i do want to say thank you for the hundred thousand subscribers and i love you guys so much and i'm so grateful that you guys have been given given me this opportunity to share crochet patterns with you and inspire you guys to just be creative and create whatever you want to create and things like that so just want to say thank you um but with that being said thank you for watching this video i love you guys i hope you have a great weekend bye